Uh, what's going on, YouTube? Uh, I'm hitting y'all up to let y'all know, you know, I got me a, another vehicle. And then we gonna go from there. Yep, here we go. 2020 Volvo VNL 760. Just picked it up yesterday. 535 miles on it when I got it. Yep, yep, yep. It's a nice truck, nice truck. I already hauled my first load with it. You know what I'm saying? Oh, all that dust already on that fifth wheel. I just disconnected. All right, it'd be all right. I'm going to throw some more grease on it tomorrow. But yeah, man. VNL 760. Volvo. I picked it up in uh, Muncie. Indiana I'm from Muncie, Indiana I'm down here in Spartanburg, South Carolina with my first load hey, It's a pretty nice truck 300 gallon 300 gallons of fuel 150 on each side You know It got the uh, D13 in it With that eye shield My little butterfly, he's still flapping around. He dead though. He's still flapping around. He's trying to make it. So we're going to get on the inside of it and see what it's like. And I'm going to say this right now. Excuse the, uh, the, the cleanliness of the inside of the truck. It also came with a key fob. Boom. Unlocked. All right. So we all know what the inside of inside of most of them look like. You know, it's all the same. You know, I got the uh, thing right here. I can change your brightness on off. I take it off, on it stays on. I hit it a second time. It'll cut off when I turn the when I close the door. Right? Like I said, forget it. Don't worry about that right there. I just bought that there to put it in the fridge in a little bit but uh, uh now we in the truck right we gonna start off by doing this the dough that's how you open the dough the lock the dough you push it forward when you push it forward it locks the other one too so let me unlock the dough right Gonna unlock the door. All right, you see that? Now I'm gonna push this for it. That's all I'm gonna do. And now look at that one over there. It's locked. I like that feature. Although it does have the button up here to lock and unlock the doors. You got power windows. I mean, uh, power windows. Automatic down on both sides. Automatic down on both sides. You got the holder to bring it up. Uh. Heated mirrors on both sides and the mirrors up there on the on the hood. They heat it. Uh man, this light up here, it changes colors. Like a teal, bright and dim, then a red, bright, red, dim. And then I hit that button again, it turns it off. I hit this button right here, white light on and off, and then white light on and off. It's the same thing on the other side. You know, this truck got some good features on it. You know, it got too many buttons on the steering wheel. It's missing one. That's for the uh, the distance on the automatic um, the auto the automatic cruise control, automated cruise control, or whatever they want to call it. But uh, it ain't the basic model, but it's not top of the line either. You know what I'm saying? All in all, I'm happy with what I got. You know what I'm saying? These people, they did me some justice. 
You got the eye shift transmission right here. You know, drive, neutral, reverse. I put it, I left it in uh, reverse, but as long as the brake set, it ain't gonna do nothing. Unlike the, uh, the Mac I was in, if I put a brake, it automatically put it in neutral. You got your AC controls. And uh, you got your USB. I got a phone up here I use for my iPod. You know, and uh, this USB is for the phone that y'all y'all on now. I just place it up there, it's magnetic mount charge. Obviously, I got my me uh, GPS up there, and these cup holders. I press the button, and it comes out. Press the button on the bottom of it, and it comes out. Boom. And I could buy more if I want to. And I could just have cup holders all the way over. But I don't think I'm going to buy no more. Oh, man, this steering wheel, man. This steering wheel is something off the chain. So I got a foot level down there. I press the foot level. You hit that air. Now I can take the steering wheel move it up and down. I can move it up and down like this. Up and down. Then I can move it forward and back. While pushing it in, it's telescoping and everything. And then if I let it halfway... You heard that out? Now I can tilt it this way. Yeah. So I like that feature there. I do like that feature. Uh, the seats. Man, the seat got this little button here. You press it, and it actually, while you're sitting in the seat, you know, it put air in there and releases the air. And the lumbar right here put air in there and releases the air and all this stuff you know that's pretty all right but uh let's go to the sleeper all right now in the sleeper i got my my my, my tv mounted and after i got my tv mounted you gotta hold on for a second All right, I'm back, I'm back. TV, it tilts up and down. And then it actually comes out. So after the TV, you know, I got my microwave over here on this side. Obviously, y'all know what I look like. Got my microwave. Got two cup holders up there, but I got a lot of trash up there right now. It's gonna all get cleaned up when I get back to where I'm going. I Like I said, I just picked the truck up. Refrigerator. It's a pretty nice size refrigerator. It's deep. It's deep up in there. It might not be wide from front to back, left to right. I mean, from left to right, but from front to back, it's deep. And I like that. They got the uh, the uh, rack, aka the bed, for those of you civilians. Uh, the back part right here, that part right here, it folds up to make you sit like you're in a recliner on top of that I got the uh, the table that folds out and I pull it around boom I got me a table now while I'm sitting up in the in the in the rack slash recliner I close it back up close it back down you got to pick up on it and push at the same time pick up and push at the same time now this rack here up top pull it it folds down all right after it fold down i got this button here pull it they fold down and then the letter the ladder it slides down i ain't gonna let it all the way down because i ain't got time to be pressing them buttons to let it back up them little red buttons under the bottom i gotta press them so it'll go back up but other than that, up top is pretty much ain't got nothing on there. I keep that clean, clear, and under control. Like that uh commercial. But I do that. I got my got my space age. You know what I'm saying? Top of the line, flight line, slash airport 
um, window shades up here. One on each side. So I'm gonna let them stay open tonight. And then, obviously I got three little lights. All on the same color. All on the same color. Then I got these here, I push down. And then I open up my side window. Both sides. Them gonna stay closed though. I'll let the curtain down. Two air vents right here. I think I got one up top too though. Yeah, I got some air vents up top. On that side, on this side, it's a little cubby hole up there. And then I got another light, change colors and uh, the white light right there. All right, so now the light in the bunk. I press this button here. Not this one, I press this button here. I turn the light on the bunk on. This is how I control the AC from the back back here. And uh, this is uh, pretty much just settings for the, the screen and turn on the uh, the bunk heater and stuff like that. But I can lock my doors from the inside. Lock and unlock my doors from the back in the sleeper. And I also got the ambient light down here hit that button turn the ambient light on down down bottom uh two usb ports and another charger right here i got a usb i got not a usb but a, a house uh car plug two house plugs on this side over here i got two house plugs over here on this side got a uh regular car car port up there 12 volt and then uh, from there, I got another one, 12 volt right here. And then go a little down a little further, I got two house plugs right there. I mean, it, it's good truck, good truck, good truck, you know. But we gonna go from there. I'm sorry that this video was that long at least, you know. Just bear with me, and uh, we'll go from there. We'll hopefully my videos will get a little bit better, and I get a little bit more more views and stuff. So that's all I got to say. YouTube, y'all have yourself a good day, and God bless.